Hey guys welcome technical beardo here. Today in this video we will see how to fix tap to wake is not working on iPhone. In simple words if you all are aware whenever our iPhone is locked and we tap on a iPhone screen or iPhone display on a locked display that time our iPhone screen automatically lights up and then we can continue with our iPhone using. So basically here we don't have to press our power button to unlock the device just a single tap will light up our iPhone display. So here sometimes the issue is that even if you tap on the screen or iPhone display the screen doesn't light up or doesn't turn on. So now here the tap to wake is not working. So in this video we will see how to fix the issue or what are some steps we can try to fix the issue here. So let's start the video and check out the steps. So here always remember the first step will be check whether your device supported or compatible with the tap to wake feature. This feature is compatible or available on all the devices with face id that is your iPhone X and later. So iPhone 12, 13, 14 all are supported with tap to wake. Even your iPhone SE 2 will not support this feature. The iPhone like your iPhone 8, 7 doesn't have this feature. So tap to wake will not work on those devices. So always make sure that your device has this feature on your iPhone. So if yes, then we can try the next solution or next steps. The next solution will be enabling tap to wake feature on an iPhone. For that do one thing, go to settings. In settings, open feature called accessibility. In that, choose option called touch. And here, once you open that, there you will find an option called tap to wake. So make sure that that feature is enabled on the settings. Okay, once you enable this, then you can lock your device and try it on your iPhone. For an instant, you can just disable it and re-enable it. Okay, and then you can try again doing it. So it might fix the issue and you can try it on your iPhone. The third solution will be use only one finger, not multiple or double. So whenever you are tapping on a screen, just tap a single finger, not a hand or multiple fingers because tap to wake works only with a single finger not a double or multiple fingers. The fourth solution will be reboot your device because if there is any glitch or any issue with your iPhone software that might be fixed by rebooting your device. Always remember whenever there is an issue with your iPhone or glitch just reboot your device because rebooting just reset your system on your iPhone and this might fix the issue or a glitch if there was any. The next solution will be disabling always on display on your iPhone. This feature is supported or available on models like your iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. So whenever you enable your always on display on iPhone, that time it dims your iPhone screen. But it is available, the screen is awake but dim condition. Like it will show your wallpaper in a dim condition also the time as well. But that time if you tap on that to wake the phone, Actually, it brightens up the phone, it wakes up the phone, sometime due to glitch, it might not respond to the tap and it will continue with your always on display. So it is better to disable always on display on iPhone to just fix the issue. To disable always on display on iPhone, for that do one thing, go to your settings. In settings, open display and brightness and here you will find an option called always on display, just disable that. The next solution or a fix might be check if there is any software update. For that go to your settings. In settings go to general and here tap on software update. If there is any software update for your iPhone just go ahead and first of all do that thing. So update your device. If there is any glitch or a bug it will fix in the update as well. So you can try after the update. If the issue is still there then you can try other solutions as well. And now even after trying all the solutions still issue exist then we can try the next steps. The next point I will talk about is your screen protector. So make sure that the screen protector or the tamper glass you are using on your iPhone is correctly fixed or it's good quality. Because sometimes the touch might not be responding, sometimes the tamper glass or a screen protector might not be a good quality and the touch you are tapping on your iPhone is not responding or not correctly tapping. So that might be an issue with your iPhone tamper glass or iPhone screen protector. So make sure that the screen protector you are using is good quality and better. Along with your screen protector also check the 
your iPhone case because sometimes we used heavy rugged iPhone cases or full iPhone cases which the covers your iPhone screen as well because if your iPhone case or cover extend the iPhone bezel line and if it presses the iPhone display or iPhone screen that time your touch might not be responding because the iPhone case is already covering your iPhone display and it is touching the screen that time iPhone doesn't respond to two touches so always make sure that you have a good iPhone case which is not covering the iPhone display or iPhone screen the next thing you can try is disabling and enabling your low power mode sometimes the low power mode will disable certain things certain features on your iPhone and by glitch or bug it might disable the tap to wake feature as well so just to avoid this or try this you can disable the low power mode and try this feature again and you can enable the low power mode again back and now the next thing we can try is reset all settings for that do one thing go to a settings in settings tap on general in general scroll down till the last and here you will find an option called transfer or reset iphone tap on that and here choose option called reset and from here just go ahead and tap reset all settings it will not wipe any files from your iphone but it will reset all the settings and get back to your default settings on your iphone it might fix or correct any glitch or a bug from your iphone now the last solution even after trying all the solution still the issue exists then there might be serious issue with your devices so here you have two options that is first one is your restore the iphone you can have a using a laptop you can have a backup other thing is that take your device to your apple service center if there is any physical or a, any hardware issue with your device it might get fixed with there only so this is the last one i hope at least one of them will surely fix the issue on your iphone and if any one of them works for you do let me know in the comment below and until then i hope it was a helpful video for you i hope you like the video and if yes please give a like please subscribe for more videos on iphone tips and tricks and iphone solutions until then thank you very much bye bye see you in the next video